PlayStation has had a ton of updates lately, and I thought I would make a little video talking about all the services and things that they're improving, things that have been announced, and things that you should be keeping an eye out for in the near future. And of course, shortly after recording, the acquisition of Blue Point Games was announced by PlayStation. Uh, the blog post reads, Welcome to the Family, and they discuss the Demon's Souls remake, the PS4 remake of Shadow of the Colossus. I love that game. Uh, this was a no-brainer that was coming for a really, really long time. Here's what here's what uh, Blue Point had to say about it. Plus, there's this whole video about the partnership. This is going to be great for Sony and uh, and Blue Point, likely also. So it says. Uh, while the studio has certainly grown over the past 15 years, our cultural beliefs have remained the same to always push the envelope and create highest quality games, create the highest quality games possible, all while having fun doing it. And then uh, they're very excited about their next project, which appears will be an all new game, not a remake. After seeing what they've done with some of my favorite games of all time, I cannot wait to see what they do next. Now, back to the original video. Thank you so much for watching. Before I get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when I go live, uh, when the video goes live anyway. Uh, so real quick, it started off with this big blog post talking about a ton of the features that have actually been added to the console with the new firmware update. I think the biggest one that you probably know about is the hard drive expansion slot being unlocked for everybody to use. If you decide to do this, be sure you update your console first before you begin the installation process. It's very easy. I made a video over on IGN, and if you buy a hard drive with a heatsink installed already, you pop it in. And if you buy one without a heatsink, you have to put the heatsink on before you install it. And that's the long and the short of it. You're done. You have tons of extra storage. And basically, every hard drive seems to work fine according to the Digital Foundry. So that was the big one, but there were other few quality of life improvements that were added to the console, including a trophy tracker, which allows you to pin trophies that you're tracking on the PlayStation UI. And look, I'm probably an idiot, but I don't know why it's been difficult for me to find the, the trophy location just in the UI. One of my biggest criticisms of uh, PS4 to PS5 changes are that they change the UI in strange ways that make it trickier to find like the power off button, for example, a little trickier to find your trophies because it's like you have to learn where they moved everything and then utilize it. I like a lot of the services that they've added with with the new. Well, there's a lot of problems, actually, with the new UI, uh, but I, I like how it's slick. I like how they have game help right there if you run into issues in your game. Yeah, but the whole save transfer process and things. So even something as small as allowing you to pin trophies is a great improvement in my mind. And of course, the SSD upgrade. Now, one of the more interesting aspects was the PlayStation Remote Play feature, which includes uh, screen share to mobile devices. So screen share, it'll work over your cell service, similar to the way that Xbox uses uh, xCloud and Game Pass to allow you to play Game Pass games over the cloud. So I think the fact that it's able to stream from your PlayStation 5 to your mobile device or to whatever device that you happen to be using is quite great. And I believe they said it works over cell service. I, don't, I would rather play my PlayStation 5 games on the TV and I have that option. So I haven't tried it out yet to see how good or not good it is. But this is a great answer to what Xbox has been doing with xCloud. And Sony did say they would have an answer for those sort of things. And if this is what they choose to do, to me, this feels like it's the first step in a larger set of plans that they have to improve the PlayStation 5 platform. So that's great. That's similar to how uh, Xbox started. They, they did the console streaming first, then they were able to elaborate on that from there, and they're hiring for all sorts of roles to make improvements in this area. That is excellent. One of the other features is that share screen allows you to pass a controller to a friend. I know that's been around for a long time because there was this viral video that went out where somebody did that and then they deleted one of their characters in Destiny. So uh, just make sure your friends are actually your friend before you pass the controller, so to speak. Um, yeah, so Xbox has the cloud and that works on everything. And this is great to see that uh, Sony is also looking to offer similar services on their platform. One of the other things that I noted 
were that uh, Jim Ryan is expected to speak at uh, GameIndustry.biz live next month. And here's what they say about that conference. They say Ryan will take part in a pre-recorded fireside chat that will discuss his history with PlayStation, his views on the brand, and what the future might hold for the game's business. That's going to be on October 7th, uh, 5 p.m. BST. I don't know what that is. And the whole, the whole thing takes place October 6th to October 8th. So keep an eye out for that, of course. One quick note on all the uh, system update stuff. I think I forgot to uh, find the exact quote here, but Sony has a lot of improvements. And one of the quotes were, when I look back at the list of things we need to do, there is a lot. So I believe that was Hideki uh, Nishino, the senior vice president of platform experience. And there's a gigantic, massive list of improvements that they want to make. So hopefully save transfers is on that list because that's one of the things that I really want to see improved. And uh, just overall UI tweaks. Anytime, anytime that a UI designer, like be it Chrome, be it anything, makes you click one more time to get to a thing, I find that very annoying. And the, the whole power button meme that came up because of PlayStation, it's because on the PS4, you would press and hold the power button, then you just, you have the option right there to turn off. Now you press the, the PlayStation button, you have to go down and then over to the right and then power it off. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a design choice that to me is more annoying and could easily be changed to be a little bit more user friendly because I really liked how the PlayStation 4 handled it personally. I, I got used to that. I like that. And the fact that it would just pop up like that was wonderful. I hope they eventually get back there. Now, the final one, uh, a lot of people have talked about this already, but HBO revealed a screenshot of The Last of Us show. Uh, it looks amazing. I'm really, really excited to see Joel and Ellie in person. And in the shot, basically, it's the actor and actress looking out at a crash plane in the distance. So it's Joel and Ellie looking out at the crash plane. And it just seeing how good it looks and seeing Neil Druckmann's reaction has me really, really excited about The Last of Us movie and where it could be taking us. It also sort of reminds me that there's an Uncharted movie in the works that we've been waiting on forever. Hopefully that is far enough along that we're going to be able to eventually watch the actual movie at some point, because I really want to see the Uncharted film. I love the Uncharted games, so I would love to see how they decide to adapt that into a film franchise. I think it translates very well. It's basically a modern Indiana Jones, so I can't wait. Seeing The Last of Us be adapted to an HBO series or an HBO movie at the very least. I can't remember if it's a series or a movie, but regardless, it works in either format. Last of Us is just, just rife with storytelling opportunities that I can't wait to see. There were also some Horizon Forbidden West uh, announcements about Alloy and her character model. And I kind of, I think I want to make a separate video about that, but just realized that there was a massive post about Alloy and how they're taking her character model and improving it. So keep an eye out for that video. That's largely all I had. Like over the last few days, I kept seeing these little PlayStation stories. Well, not really little, like Jim Ryan speaking is substantial. The HBO screenshot was substantial. And uh, the fact that The Last of Us stream turned out to be just like, get the CD, buy this merch. And then they're like, oh, wait, wait, we have something at eight. I have to imagine that's because HBO had the timing set to 8 p.m. for the big drop. And they just I don't know, something weird happened there. They, it should have been at the end of the stream is the one more thing. And then that would have been everything everybody talked about, but it worked out in the end anyway. All the console stuff, it's just great to see them improving the UI. I hope they continue to improve the UI from there because I've been I've been very critical about the, the tiny things that PlayStation needs to fix. So it's great to see them working on that. What are you excited about? What's the one thing that you would want to see them fix on the PlayStation platform? For me, it's the save transfer. Like <laughs> the save transfer process is just silly. It's, it shouldn't be that convoluted. And I'm glad to see uh, Ghost of Tsushima try and address it and uh, Death Stranding try and address it also. 
even though I had to play Death Stranding on the PS4 version for like half an hour before I could play Director's Cut. It was, it's very weird, right? Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like these sort of videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when I go live. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you for the next one. Real quick shout out to all the members. If you want to become a member, memberships are turned on here on YouTube. If you want to say, hey, Destin, I want to support your channel. Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you can do so by hitting that join button and then uh, supporting it the level that you choose. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you to everybody who has become a member. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.